Yes. So nice and soft. This is fantastic. I'm going to give a point to everyone for the second great super slant in a row. Shine on, ladies and gentlemen. I'm very proud of you. So go ahead and, and brush that shoulder off real quick because you got some on there. <coughs> go ahead, Tyree. Nice super slant. Good. Could you guess he's got something on his shoulder, would you? Brush it off for him. Yeah. Great. <laughs> All right. So you guys get a challenge today. And you guys have been doing really good work in the last couple of weeks. So I'm excited to give it to you. You're going to actually start reading and doing SAT passages and questions. Before we get into it, we're going to do a little bit of a review to set you guys up so your brains are ready. So all eyes up here, we're going to do a little bit of a review. When we read, we underline info that connects to, raise your hands. What are the text features we've been using? Yes, ma'am. Text. Title. Title. Raise your hands. There's more of them. I want to see more hands raised. Come on, you guys. This is a review. Yes. Subtitle. What else? Let's keep it going. Tyree. Picture. Picture. Very good. What else we got? Yes, ma'am. Subtitles and headings. As I continue, I want to see everyone reading along with me. 
The stars we see in the night sky have not always existed and will not shine forever. The birth of a star begins in a cloud of cosmic dust and gases called a nebula. Gravity pulls some particles of the nebula together. As they get closer, the atoms start to bump into each other. Their attraction, or gravitational pull, also gets stronger. The collisions grow in speed and frequency, creating heat. As things heat up, the atoms of hydrogen gas stop bouncing off one another. Instead, they gradually join together to form heavier elements such as helium and carbon. Oof, this is getting dense. When the atoms fuse, huge amounts of heat are created. This energy is given off, causing the new star to shine. Wow, that was a lot of information. I didn't really understand a whole lot of it. And it didn't really connect to my, t my, my, uh, my title or my subtitle or my heading. So I'm going to call this stuff details. And I'm going to leave it alone for now. I'm going to take questions in a second. Death of a star. I continue on. Everyone put your finger on death of a star so I know you're with me. Jonathan's there, Justin. We're good. Ready? Death of a star. For, for, the st excuse me, for a star the size of our sun, 10 or 11 billion years will pass before it burns through all of its fuel. All right, sweet. Underline that bad boy. This tells me how long the life of the star is. And it burns out of all.